my guard. So for this shoot, we had a couple of different lighting setups. We started with this setup, with two softboxes hitting the bottle from each side. We also had an Aperture 300D Mark II bouncing off the wall creating some fill for the front of the bottles and some black foam core in front of the lens blocking any reflections. So a cool little trick is if you are shooting glass, glass is notoriously really hard to shoot. Um, it's reflective, um, in, in our case it's clear glass, so that's even worse. So what we're going to do is I've cut out the back of the glass from a white piece of paper and I'm just going to stick that on there and you can see what a difference it makes having that there and then not having it there. So that's a cool little trick. Okay, I'm going to record and then I'll spray and then if you can bring it around at a consistent pace. So I think it's better if I spray and we move it fairly quickly rather than that slow because then it just loses its mm. frostiness. All right, so now we're going to try a cool effect with the water. We're only just kind of testing it, so we'll see how it looks. <sighs> Finger cramp. So we've decided to scrap the idea of the cutout on the back of the bottle only because we want the freedom to be able to rotate the bottle on a turntable and if we did that with this, you would see the white on the back. Alright, so what we've done is completely scrapped everything that we shot yesterday. Uh, we just weren't happy with the lighting of the bottles. There was too many reflections and hard edges of lights. So what we've done is we've rigged up a softbox overhead, which has pretty much reduced all reflections, which is pretty sick. Happy with that. And now I'm just going to go through and reshoot all the individual bottles because I think the lighting is pretty much on point. For this next shot, we're going to try atmospheric aerosol, which is pretty much smoke haze in a can, just to see what kind of effect it has. We are backlighting it, so it should look pretty cool. As you'll see also, using haze diffuses all of the lights and gives them a nice bloom. So those mm. reflections on the bottle won't yeah. look as harsh. There they go. Alright, so we're setting up for our end shot and we've got a nice piece of black acrylic which is super shiny, which is going to make each of those bottles have their own reflection. We've also got some fake ice cubes which JB is putting down. Um, and we've also got some fresh fruit of each of the flavours of the drinks, which is going to make it look really, really sick. Really good. So now we're going to try putting the bottles into the fish tank as well as some fruit um, to get that really cool slow-mo effect of going through water. Um, we're going to be shooting at 150 frames a second. Um, and the problem that we are having is there is a lot of shit in the tank, a lot of fluff, a lot of air bubbles, so we're just doing a couple of test shots. Um, I'll show you what these look like, um, but I think we're going to have to find a solution for getting all that fluff out of the tank and trying again. Also, just with lighting a fish tank, you're going to want to black out everything in front of the tank and light it from the sides just to eliminate any reflections. We also have a black piece of cloth at the back, um, so the lighting is on point. It's just a little bit disappointing with the scratches on the tank and the fluff, so we're just gonna have to see what everything looks like in post and see what we can do. So we reviewed the footage and it doesn't look too bad. We've got a few scratches on the front of the tank which we're gonna try and avoid. Um, we're gonna shoot at a higher frame rate, um, this time 240 frames a second. Um, and we pumped an extra light with a 300D Mark II at 100% um, and we're going to open up our aperture more, more shutter speed so it's sharper, it's crispier and hopefully if we crush those blacks we can get rid of all those air bubbles and just the random shit floating around the tank. We'll see how we go. It won't crack. It'll slow it down a bit. I don't think it'll crack. Yeah. Ah, let it drop. Go. <laughs> That's a cool 
physical effect though. Look at all the air bubbles. Uh -huh. After reviewing the bottle drop in the tank, we decided that it wasn't the look we were going for for this product shoot and decided instead to suspend the bottles with some fishing line and throw the fruit into the tank around the bottle. I reckon even if you can reach in, have your fruit in one hand, yeah. and even have like get the line and have it twisted back so it twists towards the front, you know how it moves? Oh yeah, that's like... Yeah, and then as soon as it starts to come around, throw the fruit in, mm -hmm. and that'll be a cool mm -hmm. thing to yeah, do. Yeah. After shooting a couple of shots, we were getting a bit of water splashing over the tank, which I was picking up in camera, as you can see here. So we decided to put some black paper over the top to prevent any more splashes. Go, bang! Wow! Oh, that was pretty cool. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> Second attempt um, looks good. Where did that random line go? I think that way. I reckon we try one more with it because it looks sick when those ice cubes come in. Mm -hmm. They kind of create a stream. Yeah. Ooh, that was the go. Wow. Oh, they're gonna come out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> go away. Yes. Ooh. That looked pretty sick. So we just finished up shooting all the fish tank shots. This time we used a smaller tank and used some acrylic ink from Liquitex. This stuff is absolutely amazing. We used a few different colors. It's not the cheapest, um, but what we did is we put the ink into a syringe and then we used a bit of tube to kind of move it around to where exactly where we wanted the ink to come out and it looked pretty sick. Check out some of these shots that we got. We experimented with just the single color and then we tried the dual color and just the way it interacts with the water is really, really cool. Super stoked on that. So with the lighting, what we did is we stayed with the overhead rig and then we had a light coming in from the side. We didn't have that many issues with reflections this time because it's such a smaller tank. So we just had a couple of the black foam core on the camera and to the side and that's probably about it. Okay, and go. Slower, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's good, that's good. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little more. Go, go, go. And go for it. Come forward. That looks sick. That looks cool, JB. All right, now we're going to start the pouring shots with the liquid going into the glass with the fake ice cubes. Now these are fake, they are not real. Um, they look legit though, they are shiny, they're reflective, they're really, really cool to use. Uh, because obviously using real ice cubes are just going to melt, they're going to create condensation, it's going to be a mess. So these are really, really nice to use. You can get them on Amazon. Um, or anywhere online, really, really worth it. So for the pouring shots, the lighting is very similar to what we've been using previously. We have an overhead soft box um, and we have a soft box off to the side. We also have an Aperture 300D um, kicking in some backlight and that's at about 70%. So that's really kicking in some serious light, which is what we need because this liquid is kind of dark. We need to backlight it to give it a bit of oomph because it just looks dark and a bit dingy. We're also using the black foam core on the camera with the cutout for the lens um, to stop all reflections. So have a look at these shots and see what you think. And that is a wrap. I really want to thank Justin and Nathan for helping me out on this shoot. I could not have done this without you. You helped chop, slice, pour, everything. So thank you very much, guys. This would not have been possible without you. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Let us know what you want to see more of and what you want to see less of. Uh, we put our hearts and souls into this. So I really hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.